Well, hello there, fellow simmers. It's Dingle here, and I hope you're having a super dingly day so far. I know I am. I am so excited because this is the third and final part of the tiny house speed build. It seems weird that I should have three parts for a tiny home, considering, you know, it's supposed to be efficient and tiny and, well, who doesn't love irony. So <laughs> I am excited to be wrapping this up, but I'm also excited just because the uh, this part, it's my most favorite part of doing builds is the decoration portion. Um, so we're going to take a, take a little trip down decoration lane, down to decoration station. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little bit hyper. Um, so yeah, and so you guys know just the general layout of the house. Right now we are in, if you guys have seen part one and part two, and again, just a little background, this will be um, the house that I move the Kale sisters into, into um, the LP that I have. So they're gonna take on life together, Kale sisters. Um, you know, they don't know where, we don't know where they're gonna go. We don't know what they're gonna do. They're just going to, all their three different personalities take on the world together so I'm excited I'm excited to see this house in action I haven't played um live yet so but yeah so the general layout of the house right now we're in the living room and um I'm just playing around with the tv section I struggled with you know should I have a tv should I not but gotta keep that sims plum bum green if you know what I mean um, but yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with this section. I, f I just felt like it needed something at the, um, at the base of the TV. And, um, you can see me just playing around. Never, never feel weird about playing around. You can see I play around a lot. I actually have to skip forward a little bit in a minute because I play around too much with the decorations. But you can do shelves here. I did some beams. I tried it out, etc. Um, but yeah, you just got to do what works for you at certain points. I wanted to go with that natural wood color. I thought it went with the uh, the bricks pretty well. And again, I'm using um, my standard build cheats. I'm using the bracket keys in order to increase the size of objects. And I have my move objects on so I can layer a bunch of things and get really creative with that. And um, I'm in nine and zero raise and lower objects. So yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to get out of this living room. I'll show you guys the finished product, and then we're going to have some screenshots of the place. And, um, yeah, I'm just super excited about my tiny home. Tiny house, tiny house, does whatever a tiny house does. <laughs> have you guys seen Simpsons, the Simpsons movie? Spidey pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. <laughs> Oh, I crack myself up. So we're moving into the entryway. I'm playing around with some rugs here. I love just adding decorations. I did. I went with the bolder colors for this house. Not bold necessarily, but definitely the accent walls with the orangey brownish color. Um, and then I felt like I really wanted to just stand out with my countertops. I think I actually leave them green. Um, and then when I do my overhead countertops I um I think I was gonna go with white but then I was like ah whatever I love green just make it all make it all super bold super bright for my tiny home my tiny house and my tiny kitchen and my tiny walls <laughs> that was so sad I really wanted to keep it in the really really small space that I had here and it's not like I did it like for a and it, this isn't part of a challenge or anything like an official challenge but I did want to keep it a rectangle um, so I was bummed to pull that wall out, but you'll see I actually end up pulling the other wall out to the other bedroom because uh, the twins room has to be large enough for two beds and I could not fit. I know that the Sims would not be able to get around the beds if I stuck two in one of the bedrooms back there. So I ended up having to pull out that wall as well. But yeah, the kitchen, it's just one of my faves. Um, it's funny, it's one of my favorite to decorate, but it's not one of my fa I do not spend a lot of time in the kitchen at all. Personally, I, you don't, trust me, you, you, I don't spend a lot of time in the kitchen, but you also don't want me spending a lot of time in the kitchen. I'm horrible. I'm a horrible cook. I'm a horrible, horrible cook. 
Uh, yeah, no. I'm just, I'm thinking of all the horrible things. I, I'm pretty sure I've microwaved, like, I don't even know what to microwave. I ask my friends all the time, I'm like, what? Can I microwave, can I microwave this in the oven? Can I microwave, um, this? And they're like, Mac, Dingle, no. That is metal. You may not microwave that in the oven. So I'm like, well, darn it. Hot pockets for life, I guess. <laughs> I'm really good at breakfast. I'm good at eggs. I'm good at toast. You can't really mess those up too badly. Although I have met I've, m one of my best friends from school, from college. Um, she once put a whole packet of cookie dough in the microwave in hopes that it would cook and make cookies. I'm not joking. Promise. True story. Let me know if you want to hear more true stories like that. I will definitely be happy to share some with you. She's one of my faves. My bestie for life. So yeah, there I try to do the white upper uh, counters. But I think I ended up actually changing them to green. I was like, or maybe I kept them. I kind of like the fresh look. It kind of goes with the countertops. The actual tops on um, the lower level. Eh, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I left them. I kind of like them. I think I do. Yeah. Go me. I like that. If not, I might change it back to white. I don't know. But yeah, now I'm going down the hallway. And I am I know I couldn't like see very well down the hallway. I know the hallway is like a super tiny, tiny hallway. Tiny hallway for my tiny home on my tiny lot in my tiny house. <laughs> I feel like I could make a children's book about my tiny house and my tiny lot and my tiny sims. But, yeah, I'm just playing with, like, I felt like there should be something at the end there. Messing around with that. Um, yeah, the other thing that I like to add, I think I add a mirror down there. And mirror is um, one of the main things that you learn, just like poking around a little bit in interior design is um, mirrors just open up a space a lot so in all of these tiny place uh in all of these tiny places or spaces if you add mirrors it'll open up the space a lot and it really does work um i really liked having that mirror at the end of the hall and then i end up adding mirrors to this bedroom here <clears throat> excuse me guys apologies and yeah so this if you guys watched my lp and if you haven't please uh Go take a look, Z. It's kind of fun. It's, um, so the Kale sisters, I won't give too much away. I have some plans for them, but this is the edgier sister of them. Um, she's going to be in here, and she's into the deep purples and black. She's just edgier, and I think I'll keep her. Her style is really cool, especially with this get-together pack, which I'm obsessed with some of these, um, uh, items that we got here. I know it's, like, not, it's not new news about the get-together pack, but I still love it. And so she um she has she's like in the uh dancing group and she is um kind of a rebel but like not she's not like she just doesn't party all night. She just loves to dance. She loves the edgier, but I mean it could it could go either way, but you know, we'll see what happens. And then the twins, which are in the other room, they're more conventional. Um, not as edgy, not as like unpredictable, I would say. You know, the story, definitely you know, definitely watch it. It's unpredictable for sure. It's definitely intriguing, but the twins there's um one she wants to be you know popular and she's super girly but you know really down to earth down to earth girl and then um the other one is very musically inclined so she's just very artsy very um i don't know someone you would find like portland oregon i was there actually recently for uh on business and um what a great city i love that city so fun you just feel like you can just be completely I'm so comfortable there. You can be completely and utterly yourself. And I know you can be yourself anywhere, but you know those places that you just feel more at home. Um, you just feel way more at home with where you're at and just comfortable, and that's how I feel in Portland. So, um, Ooh. Yeah, so here I, I pull out this wall to be flush with the bathroom that I had to pull out, um, and I was happy. I like everything. I, I'm not, I'm not like OCD. I'm just, I like when things match up, <laughs> I guess. You know what? Sue me, harass me. I just like when things are a little in line with each other. 
But yeah, here, oh, that's right, I found the sloths. I didn't know, I didn't know about this, uh, that painting that you could get, but it, you could make it sloths or llamas. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make, you have different colored sloths. I was like, oh, forget this. I'm totally making sloths go on the wall. So that's what I did. That's what I did. See, and I try I try to put some mirrors on the back. I was like, I'm just not feeling it. Especially the mirrors that they have there. I don't like the creases. And if you guys have an idea on how to get rid of the creases, I'm just, I wasn't a huge fan. Um, but yeah, I'm just playing around. There's got, I was like, oh, there's got to be something perfect. I was like, oh, butterflies, loving the butterflies. And then I was like, oh, some plants. Big thing about my tiny home, I have a lot of greenery around. I just love, and not a lot of flowers, but in this room, since it's kind of girlier. I went with the flower flower options there. Yeah. Just putting some shelves. I love the shelving. I don't know if it was new with The Sims 4 or new with um an expansion pack, but the shelving options I really, really enjoy. Putting things on shelves, especially using my 0 and 9 keys to raise and lower objects as I please. Um, I love what you can do with them. Just playing around here. I really enjoyed decorating this house. It wasn't very daunting, you know. It was um, it was nice to be able to slow down a little bit. I still spent just as much time on this house as I do with all the other um, with all my other builds. Oh, that's right. And then I found this thing. I was like, oh man, she could totally work on her mixing skills, her DJing skills here, but it's too small because I have a tiny home. I can't. That'd be fun if you could decrease the size of objects. Make them super tiny all the time with my tiny house, my tiny lot with my tiny sims, and my tiny t DJ table. <laughs> oh. Yeah, on um, bathrooms, you know. Gotta have one of those. I wanted to put um, that shower and tub, that one all the way to the right there. I think it does, like, everything. You can literally just have, like, a bathroom, but you have to have a specific... Um, you have to have a specific uh, level in your career. I think it's the detective career that you have to have that. But what are you going to do? Did what I had. But I still kept my bathroom super tiny. <laughs> there we go. Again, mirrors. They can do a lot with the space. Did a couple of mirrors there. I just really like how this one came out. I think the all of the rooms are really cohesive. I think they flow nicely, even in such a small space. And I think the girls got their rooms that complemented their personalities. And um, I played with the, you know, bolder colors here. But, um, yeah, no, I was really happy with it. I really was. So we're going to get into the screenshots. And, guys, this, um, this house, I'll upload this to my origin. Um... On my origin account, my name is Dingle on there, except the, it's, um, you know, capital D, I, N, G, and then the letter L is actually a one, a number one, and then lowercase e. So it's just like spelling out Dingle, like my last name, and, um, but the one is my L. But yeah, you can see, so thanks so much, guys, for, uh, coming on this journey with me, my, um, my first speed build, I'm excited, um, but if you like what you see, please subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me, and then the next, um, LP, I will be moving the Kale Sisters into this lovely home, and I'm excited to show you guys this, so again, please subscribe, give this video an old thumbs up if you really liked it, and, um, comment anything that you would do differently, or suggestions, or anything that you like, what you would like to see more of, and, um, I can't wait to see you guys next time, I hope you guys continue to have a super dingly day, talk to you guys soon!